All right, so we are going to attempt to make a balloon-powered car. I know, it's very exciting. All right, first step, I'm going to grab this roof shape because this is the closest thing to a really good uh, car shape that we have. All right, I rotated it. Now it's flat on the build tray. Now I can click right on my little white box here. If I can get it, there we go. And I'm going to change it from being 14.4 millimeters long to 100. Next, I'm going to change the height. Again, 14.4. We'll just make that an even 20. All right. And right now, I have the beginnings of a pretty cool car design. Uh, next, I'd like to take this box right here, this little hole. And I'm going to scale it so I cut off the nose of my car. So I've put my entire nose inside this box, and now I'm just going to highlight both the box and the wedge and group them, All right? Now I have this cool shape. My next step is to take one of these cylinders, and let's see, I'm gonna scale this up from 20 to 30 millimeters. And then we're going to scale these to 5 and 5. Now the reason we're going to do this is that this is going to be the hole for our axle that's going to go through the car. All right, spinning like that's not going to do much for us. I need to find the right arrow I'm looking for. I could have sworn it would be this one. There we go. And obviously you want to make all of your... Um, angles here as clean as possible. So that's a 90 degree angle. And then we're going to move this 90 as well. Now I can take this, put it right over here near my wedge. Now just to get a good feel for what's happening here, I'm going to highlight both the wedge and the uh, axle hole I'm about to make and go to align. When I do that, I can see how much of my axle is sticking out on either side. And obviously that's way too high for an axle. So I'm going to click on my uh, axle and hold the control button and tap down. That allows me to lower it in space. I want to make sure I have enough clearance there at the bottom, and I certainly do. All right, now as I zoom in, I have my axle highlighted. I'm going to hit Control D, and that made a copy of the axle right next to the other one. And if I just grab and drag my right arrow key, I can move it over. All right. Now, I'm going to hit Control D again. I have that other axle over there. I'm going to hang on to that. That'll be that'll come into play later. And remember, this is five. Uh, I guess it's a. Uh, 4.98 by 4.98 should be about 5 by 5 but that's okay I'll click on this axle and this axle I'm gonna flip them to holes highlight all three pieces the two axle holes and the uh, body of the car here and group now I have holes going through my car now this I guess is 4.98 by 4.98. We're going to flip that around. We want this to now be 3. You know what? 3 is good. 3. And then this one up here also needs to go down to 3. It's a 3 millimeters tall by 3 millimeters in diameter. It's going to still stay our 30 millimeters long. Right, now I'm going to grab a whole nother cylinder, right, and we're going to change this guy to a 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter. And we only want our friend here to be about maybe 5 millimeters thick. And watch this. Now we're going to control D. Now we have two wheels. Step one now is to rotate this back to 90. 
highlight both. We're going to align, align, align. And now that is in perfect center alignment. But when we move things in space like that, notice how it's through the bottom? That's not good. So we want to just raise it up above the build tray there. Let's zoom back in. I'm using two fingers to scroll in and out. There we go. All right, so that can be one of my axles. I'm going to take this again and control D to duplicate. Put that over there for now. Then I'm going to highlight that and we're going to group it and duplicate it. Now I have two wheels attached to axles. Over here, I'm going to click on that and that. And we're going to do our same alignment trick now. Align, align. That one's already aligned. Now, I'm going to, let's see, I need to get a better view on this. All right. So, what I'd like to do is, oops, there we go. Click on this guy, drop him down. Oh, no, he's perfect, actually. But I think I may have misaligned, so let's align. I did. Whoa. Camera's on the move. There we go. Now it's happy. What I'm actually going to do now is hold control and tap up twice. I did that to, um, so when I flip this to a hole, as I'm about to do, it's not going to cut entirely through the wheel. It's going to leave me two millimeters of clearance. Group, control D. Now I have two. All right. However, there's a problem with this hole, I just realized. This hole is the wrong size. It's three by three. We want this hole to be, let's say, what was it? 4.98. So let's do 4.5 by 4.5. That way, when this axle is inserted into the hole, it actually fits. I'm going to align again. I'm going to say I did that on purpose so I can show you the alignment tool a couple more times. And group. That's better now. Now I can control D. And I have two. All right. So now I have the body of my car, axles, and wheels. The axles are attached to these two wheels over here. I'm going to insert and glue them on the other side. We'll take a break now, and then I'll show you how to make the balloon uh, exhaust.